Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. Today is the first video I'm filming on my new ring light, so I'm super happy and I'm obsessed with the lighting, with the setup. Today is also the last video in our 2022 prep series. Today we are going to talk about how to plan and organize your life for the new year. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire series and if you're new over here, you should definitely check out the videos from the whole week and prepare to make 2022 your best year ever. Now into planning and organizing your life for the new year. The first thing you should do is review the past year. Look back at 2021, look at what your highs and lows were, what do you want to continue doing and take with you into 2022, and what do you want to leave behind and say goodbye to in 2021. Reviewing your past year gives you a really good idea of where you're at now and where you would like to be in the future. The end of one year and the beginning of another is just a really good time to reflect on your life as a whole. What do you really like about your life? What makes you happy? And what do you want to achieve in the next year? This reflection or review kind of gives you a baseline where you're at and then you can determine where you want to go from here. I think it's just a good idea to kind of give you perspective on your life as a whole and how your year was. Next, you want to determine what you want to achieve in the new year. So set some goals for yourself. I talked about my 2022 goals in my 2022 reset. So if you want to know exactly what mine are, you should go check out that video. But take the reflection that you did on the past year and think about where you want to go from here. What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to do in 2022 that maybe you didn't do in the past years or that you want to continue doing in the new year? Whether it's fitness related, whether it's financial related, whether it's work related, whatever you want to do, set some goals and set the tone for how you want your year to be and what you want to accomplished by the end of it. Whatever it is you want to accomplish, whatever it is you want to do in 2022, sit down and plan that out. Sit down and brainstorm, watch some videos for inspiration if you need it, but sit down and figure out what you want to accomplish, what do you want to achieve in this new year. Most of us head into the new year with really high motivation, really big goals, a long list of resolutions, so also try and make it realistic to yourself and what you actually want to accomplish throughout the whole year. Next, you should create a vision board. I always make mine digitally and set it as my laptop wallpaper, but you can also do it the old-fashioned paper way. Whatever is going to help motivate you most really is what you should do. Collect a bunch of pictures and try and relate them to your 2022 goals, what you want to accomplish. Put all the goals that you have into pictures, visualize what you want your life to look like, and put that on your vision board. I always make mine digitally and put it as my laptop wallpaper because that's what I open and look at every single day. I wouldn't always take the time to look at a vision board, but I work on my computer every day, so I'm guaranteed to see it this way, and every time I open my computer, every time I close it, it's there. Our subconscious is always working in the background, so even though you might not totally pay attention to it every day having it right in front of your face and seeing it in some way shape or form every day is really going to make a difference help you visualize your goals and your dream life into reality the next thing you should do is set up a planner or some kind of planning system not everyone likes pen and paper for their planning a lot of people like doing it digitally nowadays so you need to figure out what system is going to work best for you there's really no one good set way on how to plan your life it's really whatever works best for you for me that is a paper planner that I write in every single day I swear by my day designer. I've talked about it so much this week, but I truly live and breathe in that thing. I always get mine from Target. It has a schedule. It has a to-do list. It has a note section. It has everything that I need to plan out my life. But if pen and paper doesn't work for you, don't force yourself to use it just because that's what everyone else is doing. If using Google Calendar and digitally planning your life is what keeps you on track and keeps you organized, do that instead. I feel like I've really figured out what planning systems work best for me, but you need to figure that out for you. Try out a few different things. Watch YouTube videos. Look on Pinterest for inspiration if you are struggling but there are so many different ways out there and you really just need to kind of trial and error things until you find what works best for you. Number five is to create a budget. This is not something I did this year because I already have a budget and I feel like it works for me pretty well, but if you don't have a budget, the new year is a great time to get your finances in order. Look at what you're spending now and how you would like to spend in the new year and set a budget to yourself. That's going to work for you. You have to make it realistic. You can't just say save a million dollars when you make a hundred thousand dollars. Like that's not realistic at all. So try and set a budget and financial goals that are realistic to what you make. My budget will probably look a little different than yours. It's going to look different than an engineer, someone who works for themselves full time. Everyone's budget is going to look different. Again, you have to figure out what works best for you. That's always my biggest piece of advice. But this is my PSA. This is my message to you to get your finances in order in 2022. The last few years, I made a big priority of that, especially in 2021. And I feel so much more comfortable and set in my life because my finances are so much more in order and I have clear goals and a clear budget set for myself. Next, you want to do a deep clean or declutter of all your spaces. This is something that I haven't done yet for the
this new year and I really need to get onto it. You feel so much better about your life. Your head is so much clearer when the space around you is clean and organized. Don't wait for spring cleaning. Start decluttering your life now. Get rid of things that you don't need or don't use. Do a good deep clean of your bedroom, your bathroom, your whole living space. It will just make your life so much better. Also make sure to clean and declutter your digital spaces. Now is a great time to go through everything on your computer, delete what you don't need, file away things that are so important but you don't need on the daily on your computer. That will also help clear up so much of your brain power when you're on your computer on your phone and they just look nice and clean and organized as well. And the last thing you should do to plan and organize your life in the new year is to plan out your ideal day. Sit down, maybe take five or ten minutes to close your eyes and visualize what the perfect day to you looks like. Do you wake up early? Do you work out in the morning, in the afternoon? Do you have a set time for reading? Think about your goals, think about what you want to achieve in this year and see how you can incorporate those things into your daily life. Take some time to write out what your ideal day looks like, whatever that is for you, what do you do, who do you see, where do you hang out, and then try and put that ideal day into action every day this new year. If every single day you are living to this ideal day in your head, your life will be so much better and you will feel more like your true self. When you do the things every day that make you happy, bring you joy, that make you feel most like yourself, you're gonna have such a happier life, such a happier year if you live that ideal day every single day. Obviously, you can't put this into practice every single day. Some days are just way too chaotic, crazy, life happens, shit is gonna hit you. But the more you try and live as your ideal self, as your true self every single day, your life is going to be so much better and you're really going to have the best 2022 you can. Well, that is it for this video. I hope this helps you plan and organize your life for the new year. And I hope this whole series helped you plan for 2022 and you're ready to make it your best year ever. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. That really supports my channel and helps my channel grow. And if you're new to my channel, you should definitely stick around and subscribe and go back and watch the whole week of videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one.